Let's go to Mark in Bedford, Massachusetts. What's going on, brother? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Mark. Hey, do you keep buying yeah. that S&P and bringing this market up to new highs? Hey, <laughs> that's all I wanted to ask you, Tom. Are you still short or what? I'm, no, I, I'm flat right now. I, I, yeah, no, I've got killed a million times here. <laughs> yeah. So, so tell me, what's your, what's your, as you would say, what's your gut feeling about this market? I mean, we seem to be going up on air. We seem to be going up on bad news. We're going up on good news. No matter what the news is, we're, you know, the government is is. The Senate is pointing a gun at the Congress uh, or the House. The House is pointing another gun at the Senate, you know, over impeachment. And but yet, the Wall Street tends to shrug it, shrug it all off and say, you know what, Washington, we're going to turn higher anyway. Stay right there. We'll talk about it as soon as we come back. We have the Dow Industrials at and, 70. You know, Mark, everything you said, yeah. I mean, uh, that's on the table. Yeah. I guess one of the biggest things that has happened even the last few days is that we have got volume inside the NASDAQ, folks. That's pretty amazing, okay? So I'm not sure whether it's just people closing short positions and are buying simultaneously, but you yeah. can see 2.3 billion on Tuesday, 2.7 yesterday. Yes. That's a big number, I man. I mean, you scroll down, I can't find a 2.7 right. down here. Right, um, no, it's, 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 it's a big number. Yeah. And I, I suspect what we're really talking here is that, okay, there's a huge amount of cash out there. We know there is, and interest rates are still yeah. with 2%. So. And as far as the impeachment goes, I say it's remarkable, you yeah. know, but the market price is risk, man. And right now, there's zero risk that that impeachment has any material matter because Republicans in the Senate have either decided that they don't believe the president used his office to investigate his political rivals, right. or they don't care. Well, the market already knows, right? It's so it's, the Senate's not going to convict they, them. They've right. made that decision, right. that that's how right. Republicans in the Senate have decided right. to act, and the market um, is pricing in that risk, which is literally zero right now. Right. So it's remarkable. Tommy, that that I, Tommy I, I think you're 100% correct. We, it's, it, they don't care. And <clears throat> they're just looking out for for their own jobs. That they they know where their constituents are, and uh, which way of the fence they fall, and that's that's the way it is. It's and I think it's very sad for the democracy personally that we have to come to this. But you know that's that's me. So I yeah, I, no, I, I agree we can spend you. a lot. I, I, I know I, we can spend I, I, a lot of time talking about that, Mark, for sure. I, this, this market, you know, the Dow is up eighty four right right now. Yeah, you know, I got Bloomberg. With the, uh, on, on the TV with the sound turned off, you know, I'm, I'm watching the ticker, and, and it just ceases to amaze me. We're, we're going up in fumes. The, the VIX is low. The VIX is in the basement, you know, and, and there's no there's no yeah. fear in the market at all. Well, so here, watch it makes this. Me wonder. Well, watch this. So if there's an unlimited amount of money that keeps getting printed, you know, if, if we go back 10 years ago, the Republicans would go out of their mind with deficit spending, okay? It's never been so high, okay? Right. The, print, Trump got the printing presses going beyond belief. He takes the highest end people, cuts all their taxes, cash is flowing in a huge way, right? And then you got the, the middle class, the, you know, underneath that, sure. the ones that are there, they're, they, they can... Yeah, they're, no they're, tax cuts they're, at all. They're, yeah, and so when you look at that, when you look at the marketplace, it's pretty intense because I was thinking today, I'm working out with Nico this morning. I says, you know what, man? I says, what if you have a situation that the, the corporations, okay, you just keep cutting and cutting and cutting on the corporations. So that's authoritarian in a huge way because the corporations are so powerful already. And, you know, Trump wants to be the freaking king. So the bottom line is that when I look at that on the basis, I say to myself, okay, why would that stop the marketplace? At some point, it would. But the other side of that is that you keep making companies more powerful, and it's always going to boost the market if you're giving companies more totally, more money. Totally, so and totally. that's and that's what we're looking at, Mark. That's the difference you got to separate. Unfortunate as it may be to right. some people, you know, is that um, the S and P is going to keep going up, man. Yeah. If if corporate taxes are low and they keep getting right. to do share buybacks and. Um, Regulations are at epic low levels in, in recent history, and, and it seems that, you know, here's, impeachment here's won't matter. And, and here's something to chew on. Since I've been talking to you the last, I don't know, since, since you came out of the break, the Dow's up another nine or ten points. Oh, so, was that all time that, new high? That, that's right. That, well, that well, just, it, what you have now, okay, too, is that the machines can run the market. The machines are more than 50% of the market anyway. 
What, if we get momentum going, this is nothing compared to what happened in the next couple of days coming into it. And just, it's, I mean, the jobs number was huge last week, all right? So yeah. things are okay oh, in that fence. Cash so flow. don't yeah. get too caught up, right. you know, in, in we agree with the political scape of things, but that's not shaping where the S&P or the Dow is no. going to be. No, and if you look at Syntas, you know, I was talking about Syntas yesterday, the bottom line, Syntas, you know, is an indication that, listen, yeah. small business is doing great, big business is doing great. This, I would say small, Syntas is a, they, they're into big business, but they're into small businesses. So when I see that, uh, that's still telling me that people have cash flow. And that's the name of the game. Cooking, brother. Um, quick question. Yeah. Quick, quick question. It, does gold uh, it seem to be in a trading range to you? Yeah. It wants, to me, I, 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 like, I like the trade. When we're at 1480, I like the trade. My take is we're going to 1499. But, but, but we've seen nothing to, to break it way out of this trading range, way up in the upside. Until we do. Yeah. That's how it works, man. That's how it goes. <laughs> All right. Okay, man. Mark, well, thanks Mike, for the call. Well, Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas man. Have, Have a great, great holiday. One.